Tell me what cyclotron is. It traveled from 5,000 miles away from Belgium to the Miami Cancer Institute, but what is it? So the protons, when they are delivered to the patient. Uh-huh. Oh, this is a picture of Pete. Okay. Um, so protons, when they are delivered, they have to be sped up to two-thirds the speed of light. Mm -hmm. um, when they are traveling to the patient, we need a very powerful magnet to send them on their way and direct them to right where we need them. Um, as a result, the cyclotron is our, is our very powerful magnet that helps us to speed them up and deliver them um, to the patient for treatment. Okay, you mentioned Pete, and we saw some video for a second there, though. What, what, what was that? What is, does Pete stand for something? Pete, and what is, was the video of? Pete is the uh, name that has been given to our proton therapy unit. Okay. Um, I can only assume that the cyclotron was named Pete because Pete has the same first letter as proton. Okay. <laughs> but Pete is an integral part of our department. If you ever want to visit him, we have to shut down the cyclotron so that you can get back behind the scenes to see him. Okay. But he is always and working and always ready to deliver um, radiation treatment so um, on the proton unit. I'm a little confused. So what is that's what's dangling in the air? That's Pete. That obviously mm -hmm. he's getting put in place. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now he what lives on the roof there of uh, the hospital, or he lives on the first floor in a vault that's right behind um, all of our offices and right in line with our proton therapy equipment. Okay, so what is the difference between conservative therapy and proton therapy? So conventional radiation treatment is um, using high energy X-rays mm -hmm. to treat cancer. The way that the conventional x-rays damage the tumor cells mm -hmm. is that they cause DNA damage that causes the cells to die. Proton therapy acts on the tumor cells in, very, in a very similar manner. It's also delivering damage to the DNA that causes it to die. However, the proton radiation has an ability to, surround, or to, to spare surrounding normal tissues. Proton therapy can precisely target the radiation treatment right where it's needed, and it can reduce the radiation exposure to surrounding tissues, which on average is about 50 to 60% compared to conventional radiation.